What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so... We've completed the instructional video and all that stuff. Now it is time to move on ahead because we got stuff to do right here. We got a lot, a lot of stuff right here. In the last episode, we got to learn how to capture Pokemon and uh, use the Pokemon Center. Now, if, once you come out of the Pokemon Center right here, somebody's gonna be like, sounds like something interesting is going on in the plaza. Hmm. Well, let's have a look-see right here. Okay, so something very, very important is going on in the look-see. Now, as you can see, Sharon's waiting for us right here and he's like, Draven, come here a sec. I'm just like, you know, exclamation mark. And here we have the introduction to Team Plasma, the team that I always confuse with Team Galactic. My name is Getsis. I am representing uh, Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Or I'm just questioning everything. Oh, what? Oh, what? I'm sure that you believe that you're, we humans and Pokemon are partners. That we have come to live together because we went, uh, we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to realize like I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this out. Pokémon are subject to selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are uh, are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that uh, there's no truth to what I'm saying? No way. Yikes. I don't know. Me, I'm just like you're full of shit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain a known potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have to learn. And tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? Uh, I'm hungry. I like tacos. <laughs> That's right. We must liberate Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, and everyone, I end my words here today by imploring to you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And after that, they're just picking up their stew dads, and wow, they're walking in, they are walking in motion right here, like in signal, oh shoot. Yeah, single filey. Wow, this guy must have some like serious pull right there. Holy crud. As you can see, everybody's questioning everything about his speech. About that speech. What do you think about uh, we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. And uh, yeah, everybody disappears and all that crud. Now, this individual right here just comes straight to us. He's like, you're Pokemon. Just now, it was saying... The hell? Slow down, you talk too fast! And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say! Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. Okay, my name is Chern, and this is Draven. We are asked to complete a Pokedex, and we just left our, on our journey. My main goal is to become the Pokemon Champion, though. Hmm, the Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't, I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that, uh, that way? Well, Dra well, Draven, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. So, here it is, guys. Another battle. Very first battle against Pokemon Trainer N. And uh, he has a pretty cool haircut right there with a pretty cool doodad right there hanging from his chain. So here he comes out with Purloin. Very first time we're meeting this Pokemon right here. And here we have Sigh of the Torrent. Alrighty. And as we all know, cats don't like water. Unfortunately, we don't have a... Yeah, we don't have a, a water gun attack. But hopefully we'll learn it right after beating this guy right here. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go with a few Tail Whips. Well, this guy goes with Growl, so he must have known what I was going to do right here. So here we go, Tail Whip. That's right. Feel the wrath of my tail, my flappity flappity tail. Here we go again. And here she comes out with another Scratch Attack, or he well, I always associates cats with the cat with the ladies right here. So there we go, defense has fallen. Let's get this Speed Attack right here. Not Speed, but you know, Tackle Attack. And uh, here we go. Okay, so now it is a battle, but not to worry, guys. I do have uh, potions stocked up. I did buy a few potions while I was actually, uh, you know, off screen and all that stuff. So here we go again with another tackle attack, and this guy is just scratching it away. Here we go, tackle attack. 
Advantage, Draven. So let's go ahead and use a potion because chances are we might get a critical hit on us and uh, that won't be pretty good right there. So here we go, potion. That's right. This is how we heal our Pokemon. And here she comes out with an, or here he comes out with another uh, scratch attack. And so let's go with a tackle attack right here. Stop hitting us, god dang it. Alrighty, here we go. Tackle attacks for the win. Eat that. That's right. And here we are, level 7. Yeah, buddy. And we learned Water Gun. On time. And, uh, wow, look at that. Level 8. Just like that. Alrighty. We defeated N. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. Hmm. Wonder what he has to say. Okay. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they are my friends. Oh damn, this guy is like, you know, a little warped. Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striton City. Aim to battle uh, gym leaders after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is a challenge. The or is, is to challenge the gym leaders in the, each area. Okay, alrighty. So, I guess that's the next place we're gonna be going to now. Let's go ahead and take a small tour of this place. I think there is a location right here where you can actually uh, you can actually get a Pokeball or an item here and there. But look at that, two Pokeballs. I hope he doesn't call dibs. And he's like, beautiful scenery is a relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure do love this place. It makes uh, sure makes me feel happy. Well, that's pretty nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just talk to people. Maybe we can find something. Uh, let's see, if you talk to this person, shall I play my favorite tune? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Please listen to my music. I'm assuming that's the piano part. Okay, never mind. Now, if you talk to this person right here, do you want to listen to my drum? Yeah, my heart. As long as it, my heart beats, I'll keep on drumming. Oh yeah, look at that, you can hear that, look at that. Okay, that's awesome. That's right, that's right. Okay, so, uh, let's see. What is another place where we can go to? I, I know that there's an area right here where we can actually get an item here. Let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, go upstairs. Meet with a few people. Let's see, talk to this lady. On Route 2, many trainers train their Pokemon by having them battle. Okay, and uh, stop moving around. Guess what I know? I know! Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time, hee <laughs> Okay, well, we already know that. We already knew that. So, let's see. Talk to this lady. Stop moving. Weak Pokemon, strong Pokemon, cool Pokemon, cute Pokemon. Many Pokemon look forward to meeting you. That's cool. That's awesome. And, so let's see. Wow, you have a great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy lots of potions and keep them in your bag? Okay. So, this is not the place. Definitely not the place. Alright. Let's go into the next area right here. I think there's one more building. Yes, one more building right here. Hopefully we can find an item. Okay, so what do you have to say? If you if you get strong, you can move forward. If you move forward, you'll get stronger. That's a cool thing to say about our journeys. Well, it is true. It's a good analogy. And Pokemon will... Okay, Pokemon will be strong if you train them, even if they, they're weak now. Love, it's what, love is what is important. Okay. And... Uh, when a hero leads the world, a Pokemon is going to come and help with the hero. Everyone, everybody in the Unova region knows that legend. So that's a big, big thing about, you know, the Unova region. Now, talk to this guy. This is a Pokeball I got in the past. I'm going to give it to you. And here we get an extra Pokeball. So I think that was like the item that we needed to get. Kind of a anticlimactic right there. I thought it was going to be something else. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, move on to the next area right here. Let's see. Um, uh, nobody gives us anything right there. And uh, the slide right there is awesome. And uh, once we move forward, we get a message from somebody. Not like a text message or anything like that. We picked up the cross transceiver and it's Mama! Draven! It's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting close and uh, or getting along and enjoying your journeys so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up. Or I'm going to hang up the extra, the cross transceiver. Okay, uh, oh damn, there she is. Draven, I finally got up to you. And uh, look how far you've gotten already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed to Stryton City by now. I have another present for you, Draven. Try these on. And here we get 
the running shoes. F yeah. Oh yeah. When you're wearing uh, running shoes, you can uh, go anywhere in a flash. Let me read the instructions. Mom, I already know how to run. Please don't. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. But on the running shoes and tear around your heart's content. Okay. That's what it says. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them and uh, I found it when I was cleaning up. Guess it's a good to clean occasionally. Draven, you understand that? You're n you're never really alone, right? You're you're with your Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. That's all right, then? Well, that's all right, then. Enjoy your trip. Wow, it's like really hard to read this. Not much of a reader. Mm -mm. All right, so let's press that R button and look at that. We're running around. That's awesome. Now, what route are we in? Route two. And uh, will she battle us? Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. That is true. Now, we will be finding some, in uh, some extra Pokemon right here. So, I will be cutting out from some wild Pokemon encounters. Here you'll find a potion, another potion, and uh, that's always good. And uh, we got out of there scot-free. So here's our first Pokemon battle. This guy's waiting for us, and he's going to be like, a trainer catches another uh, trainer's eye. That is the start of a Pokemon battle. Yeah, but here's the thing. I didn't really look at you, man. You kind of like trapped me, you a-hole. So here he is. You are challenged by Jimmy, the youngster, and he's gonna be coming out with his Patrat. You look so... so scary, because you look like a bandit. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with the water gun attack. That's right. A new move, Sigh of the Torrent, tearing it up right here, and uh, here we have... you know, another uh, a defensive fallen or anything like that, so special attacks all the way, taking everybody's HP, look at that. And uh, crud, we're getting a bite attack, and that took a, light, a nice chunk out of our HP. So let's go with the water gun. Eat this water gun. Feel the burn. Or the soakiness and all that crud. And uh, look at that. We grew to level 9. That's right, Sai. Kicking some butt, taking some names. That's right. Sai's a pimp. Pimp my ride and all that stuff. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Don't, we only have one Pokemon right now, but trust me guys, in the next episode, you guys will be seeing the next team member of our Pokemon team. I already have them planned out. It's going to be fun. Uh, kind of a reminder of uh, the last Pokemon Black Walk that I had. And uh, let's see, if you talk to this guy, when your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in tall grass. That is true. And uh, let's see, trainer tips. Pokemon that participate in a battle receive experience points. How, or have your Pokemon battle often and make them stronger and stronger. That is true. Okay, and will she battle me? Yes, she will. I really love Pokemon battles, because my, po my cute Pokemon will do its best in a really cute way. Okay, cute way, cute way, cute all, all the time. Okay, so here we go. Battling Last Melee, coming out with a Purloin. And as we all know in real life, that uh, cats do not like water, so that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be spraying it with water. But there he goes with his growl attack. Oh my god. Why must you be so mean? So here we go. Water gun. That's right. Nearly half its HP right there. And uh, it's going to continue going with the growl. Only affecting our physical attack. But here we go with another water gun. Special attacker. All the way. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it right there. Oh, yes. And we nearly grow to level 10. That's good. That's always good, guys. Very, very good. Okay. So let's move on right here. Uh, again, I will be editing editing out some of the wild Pokemon battles right here because, yeah, I don't want to battle any wild Pokemon right now. And here's one. Okay, so that right there was a, a Lillipup. Yeah, a Lillipup. But we're going to be attacked by a bunch of wild Pokemon here and there, guys. Like I said earlier, attacked. But we're going to be encountering some Pokemon trainers right here, too. And he's like, Lillipup, Lillipup, my Lillipup, go! Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Bring it on. We're being challenged by Youngster Roland, and he will be coming out with the Lillipup. Pretty cool Pokemon right there. It'd be ashamed if I uh, defeated it quickly. Yeah. Okay, so we all know water-type Pokemon. But dogs love water. They do. And here he comes out with a Leer attack. Okay. And uh, we're getting hurt. Not hurt very much, but we're just getting to... Uh, our defense is taken away. And uh, here we go again with another water gun. 
And there we go. Super powerful Lillipup has been defeated. Hello, level 10. Alrighty. Look at that. Sigh of the Torrent kicking some butt. Alrighty. Okay, so that's enough of that. And here's a tree. We can't cut it. We'll eventually come back for it later. I believe we can get the cut technique somewhere around here. And uh, we're going to skip these trees and get to those Pokeballs right there. Look at that. We found ourselves another potion. Always good. Always fun. And here we have another Pokeball, which is, you know, fun for us as well. So let's move on right here. Now, before we head into uh, Striaton City, somebody's going to meet us up right here. Oh, hi, Draven. And we're looking around. Where, where, where are you? Oh, there you are. A good old buddy, Bianca. How you doing, girl? Hey, listen, let's have a Pokemon battle, please. The Pokemon I've caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, bring it on. So, my favorite friend, Bianca, ready to battle right here. And, uh, well, she will have two Pokemon right now. She's, she's trying to pull out her Pokeball. She's so cute. She's really, really cute. I really like her. Okay, so here we go. Sigh of the Torrent. Ready to battle right here. Okay. Time to get this. Water gun. Yeah, so we're gonna go straight for the special attacks. And, uh, wow, you got Odor Sloop? Okay, you're gonna identify me. Okay, that's all cool. Here we go, water gun attack again. Oh, yeah. Water gun gets it, faints it. That's right. More experience points for Sigh of the Torrent. And here she comes out with a Tepig. Oh, yes. That's a nice fire type Pokemon. It'd be a shame if I uh, soaked it in water. Look at that. Look at that. Water gun nearly takes him out, and uh, well, it learned its elemental move too, but not so effective. And she's like, uh oh, am I in trouble? Yes, you are, because tackle attack. For the win. Oh, crud. Aw, oh, man, I thought I was gonna win right there. She just like took my victory from under me, and uh, that didn't really take much. So here we go, water gun. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's right. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. And there it is. Sai grows to level 11 and learns Water Sport, which is an okay move if you're fighting a Fire-type Pokemon. And, uh, well, here she, here she is. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Draven. I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna work hard on training my Pokemon so we don't lose anymore. Okay, bye-bye. She's such a sweetheart. She really is. I really love her more than Barry. That's okay. So, here we are, guys, finally, in Striaton City. And, uh, well, we're gonna be stopping right here. Because in Striaton City, we're gonna be doing a little bit of something here, a little bit of something there. And then, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, we're gonna be catching our very first teammate, a team member. And, uh, well, hopefully you guys love him. Or welcome, back, or welcome him back, or anything like that. So, I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Black. See you guys.